and two of the men best placed, perhaps, to read uh, intelligently the result we have, uh, Brenton Shorthall and Adrian Hardiman. Adrian Hardiman, one of your colleagues has claimed already this is a moral victory for the anti-amendment campaign. Now, how can you possibly say that? Isn't it a clear two-to-one vote against? Yes, but this was started in the, ba in the expectation that it would be something of a pushover. It hasn't been a pushover at all. A very large body of people, one-third of the electorate, have emerged to reject the amendment and, if I may say so, the authoritarian attitude to personal morality which underlies it. I think also it's emphasised the urban-rural divide in a way that needs to be explained. Well, the Brenton Shortall, how would you explain that particular point? Isn't it also true from your point of view that the Dublin result, which is broadly just a shading uh, a yes vote, is hardly satisfactory? In this issue, there is no victory or defeat for anyone. We simply sought that the people try the issue, that the question be put to the people, do they wish to include in the Constitution specific protection for the unborn? I'm relieved that they, ha and I think that they have acted wisely in overwhelmingly deciding that that protection should be inserted in the Constitution. But half of them stayed away. Well, the poll was well up to, as you know, John, to referendum standards. And given the fact that there was no party political campaigning on the doorsteps of any consequence, I think the turnout was remarkable. Also, given the fact that the, the country had been told how confused it was over recent weeks, I think the clear-cut nature of the result must be a matter of relief for everybody looking at the but position tonight. People couldn't write confused on the ballot paper. They could spoil their vote or stay away, yes. but they had to go yes or no. And some of them might have taken advice, do you think, from the hierarchy? Well, I think that possibly they, they were encouraged to come out to vote by the hierarchy's interventions in the, in the debate because they stressed the importance of the issue. I don't think that that intervention radically altered the proportions in which people voted. Adrian Hardiman. Well, the hierarchy called clearly for a yes vote, and I don't object to that at all. What I do object to in relation to their behaviour in the course of the campaign is that they quite clearly failed to check the very deliberate, very individual and very intimidating pressure wrought not by the hierarchy but by individual clergymen in different parts of the country. And I think that is the only explanation for that urban-rural divide. We'll have further analysis later. Thank you, gentlemen.